you won't believe this After Effects trick. If you've ever spent way too much time keyframing every little movement in your vector animations, this one's for you. There's a simple technique that lets you bring your designs to life without manually keyframing anything. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do it. Let's dive in. The composition is ready and all set to animate. The background in this ball are vector assets downloaded from Icon Scout. Icon Scout is a library with over 11 million assets, including illustrations, icons, 3D elements, and Lottie animations. In this case, the SVG files were directly added to the After Effects project. To animate the ball so it looks like it's bouncing, instead of setting up each keyframe manually, let's open up the Lottie files for After Effects plugin and go to the Explore section. Here you can search for a pre-built bouncing ball animation that fits the look and feel of your design. Once you find the one you like, click Insert to AE. The animation is added to your composition with all its keyframes already in place. Start by positioning the downloaded animation where you want your ball to appear in the scene. To do this accurately, press U on the keyboard to reveal all keyframes on the animation layer. Make sure all the position keyframes are visible and selected before moving the layer. This ensures the entire motion pass shifts correctly without affecting the animation itself. Next, match the position and scale of the ball layer to align it with the downloaded animation. You can do this by adjusting the values manually or by using the transform controls. The goal is to make sure the ball sits exactly over the animated path. Once both layers are aligned, use the Pick Whip tool to parent the ball layer to the downloaded animation layer. This creates a link between the two, so the ball automatically inherits all the animation properties. Finally, hide the downloaded animation layer by clicking the eye icon next to it in the Layers panel. The ball will now follow the same motion using the animation from the parent layer while remaining fully editable as your own asset. And that's it! And that's how you bring your vector to life, with zero manual animation. A smart little hack to avoid animating from scratch. If you're looking to go beyond shortcuts and truly master Lottie animations, check out our After Effects certification. It covers everything from creating complex animations to optimizing them, and you'll find the link in the description below. 